Hi guys, it's Tony Tom Logan back with another video for you and uh, today we're going to be taking another look at another Asus uh, X79 motherboard and it's the P9X79 Pro. Uh, again, I've got to be careful with uh, NDAs and stuff like that, but I'm going to skirt around some of the features and we'll just make this one more about the aesthetics than anything else, but it's saying it's got precise power control, one click um, speed up with Asus SSD caching. Uh, easy uh, and flexible UFI BIOS that you can use with the mouse, Bluetooth enabled, and it's also got eight DIMMs. Now, if we have a look uh, up here, I'll get the light off of it. Basically, it's saying uh, dual intelligent processors with three new DigiPlus power control. Um, it's got a TPU, the ultimate turbo processor. I think this is to all to do with uh, like a central point for overclocking. Um, it's got USB BIOS flashback. Flashing the BIOS for overclocking and setup adjustment becomes easier than ever. Any USB storage works in just seconds on standby power. No need to boot up the operating system or even power up the PC. That, I think, is amazing. Um, it's got fan expert, lots of DTS. Um, logos and stuff over here. USB 3 boost, it's saying uh, it supports USB attached SESI protocol for um, speed boost and then it's also shouting about the EPU energy efficient efficiency all round. It's like it's got the EPU um, processor in it. Uh, it's just all about power saving and green this and green that. But what I'm going to do is stop the suspense and I'm going to pop the board straight onto here for you to have a look. So there's your first look. Now I'm not taking any of the stickers or anything off of it yet. Um, that's a, a really good look there for you. Obviously don't forget if you want to pause at any point in time to get a good freeze frame, just hit, like I said, basically just hit pause. Um, but there you go, and what I'm going to do now, after you've seen that, is I'm going to give you a good walk around the board, and I'll bring the board in so you can have a good look. I'm going to move this light out of the way so it doesn't shine so much. But, there we go. Right, we'll start at the top. 8-pin power, there's just that 8-pin power on it. Obviously we've got four dims either side, quad channel. Um, got heat sinks at the top for MOSFETs there and there, and I'm not sure whether that's the... Chipset, no, it's just, the, it looks like there's just MOSFETs underneath this. Obviously 24 pin power. Uh, on the lower end boards, a lot of you would be more concerned about fan headers. So we've got a fan header there, a fan header there, another fan header there, one more there. Uh, coming across, there's one here. Further down, there's one here. And I believe that's it for the fan headers on the board. I can't spot any more. So just to reiterate, there's one there, one there, one there, one there, and two there, right by side by side each other. Um, eight SATA ports in total. You've got a USB header there. Large heatsink here, uh, passive though, no fan like the Rampage 4. Along the bottom you've got three USB 2 ports. You've got a power and a reset here. You've also got an LED poster which is a nice touch for one of the lower end boards. One thing I will say is yet again you've got a PCI Express 16 here. But there's three slots between that and the second PCI Express 16. So if you do use one of Asus's triple slot graphics cards, then you can get that in. And you can also run a second one at the bottom as well. As long as your case does support that extra slot that will just hang off the bottom a bit. But that again, considering Asus are really pushing the um, triple slots, uh, I'm really, really impressed with this. Because um, it really does show that they are putting some thought in for the users as well. May only seem like a small thing for you, uh, but it's thoroughly, thoroughly impressed me. Uh, flipping round to the back of the board, we can see uh, USB only on this side, but there is a sticker on the top. If you have a look, it says 
mouse and keyboard to go in this one but we've got three um, USB 2's here and then we've got a white USB at the bottom which is your uh, ROG Connect we've got the BIOS button here two USB uh, 3's with a uh, gigabit uh, Intel based LAN at the top then we've got um, uh, eSATAs which double up as SATAs two more USB 3's two more USB 2's and then your SATA connector and then your audio, which is just on the end there. I'll give you a uh, better look. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a uh, look around the board. Don't forget you can pause at any moment in time. I'm really liking this. I actually quite like these colours. So there you go. That's uh, our, my, however you want to put it, first look at the Asus P9X79 Pro. And uh, yeah, as I said, really like the look of this. Really do like the look of it. So, for now at least, this is Tiny Tom Logan with what seems like a very short video for me, out.